How's it going everybody, Ben for Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing this Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. I actually did unbox this last year, well actually half a year ago, around Christmas. I do still believe this is my, my personal favorite product, and like, the best product of 2022. Maybe even better than, than V-Star Universe, although that is debatable. Um, the thing that makes this so, so nice, at least for me personally, is... You get a ton of packs, first of all. How much do you get? Like 18 packs or something? Or 15? Something crazy for this. And you get, of course, um, really, really cool promos and a cool playmat, which I'm already using as the background here. So let me just see. Oh, yeah, right. You open it like kind of odd like this. Like kind of like backwards. Okay, yeah, there you go. So that's how you open it. It's kind of backwards. You, of course, take this one out if I can. There we go, that's wedged in there. This is your playmat. Well, I'm already using it, so I'm not going to be unboxing that one. You also have, like, three different drawers here. You get, like, an acrylic V-Star marker. You get the first load of, of booster packs right here. Also, some evolving skies in here, which is really, really nice. And the promos, which are really important. And here is the second badge of... of promo, or of booster packs. And here is this... This really, really nice gold coin. This is actually really, really nice. I really like this coin. And then, what is in here? Oh, right, there is even more gold coins, like a, a gold marker for, like, poison and burn, I think. Um, these sleeves, which, I mean, by now, I have a ton of, and there is... Wait, why is this in here? Oh, this is where the dice must be in, or the damage counters. They just came in the box like this, unfortunately. So let me just put everything back in here for now. Alright, so here we go. A bunch of booster packs. It's like half a booster box, almost. And then here are the... the promos, of course. I'm not gonna be unboxing these because, well, you know, I... do already have them from the first box that I did, so this is what you would get in here. This Charizard V, this Charizard V Max, and of course the Charizard V Star. These are really, really awesome promos. It's like one of the best things about this box as well. And, well, the best thing about this box is, of course, that it is available for MSRP. Let's put the booster packs, like, right here. And start it off with Fusion Strike. Now, last time around, we did start um, very slow. We didn't get anything in the first booster packs. But we did pick it up in the end. I think I walked away with like a Rainbow, Rainbow Rare Pokemon and like a Full Art Trainer and then even the Pikachu Full Art. You know, the one with the pink background from Vivid Voltage. So I did actually do okay for the for the last opening of of something like this. Nothing in this first pack of Fusion Strike, though. It's kind of nice opening some some Sword and Shield booster packs again, even though it hasn't been this long since since Scarlet and Violet was first introduced. But it is it is a nice change of pace, I do suppose. Now originally. Originally, I had planned to open the Pokemon 151 expansion for this week's video, but, well, first of all, it's still be it's still pretty expensive, and I didn't manage to get one in time, so that will be next week's video. That's something to look forward to if I can get this right. There you go. Let's open a um, Lost Origin pack. That's gotta be really fun. We do change it up a bit here and there. Let's see. I mean, anything. Any full art trainer, any full art Pokemon, and I'd be very happy. I have seen, of course, people pulling, like, the craziest stuff out of these. I've also seen people pulling, like, Jack. So, we'll see which one it is. Oh, here we go. We got something. We're not walking away empty-handed. A Parasect trainer gallery card. Very, very nice. Here's the code card. Hey, at least we're not walking away empty-handed. We've gotten our first pull. Nice, a Parasect. Let's put you over here, pal. And what else? Astral Radiance? Sure, let's do an Astral Radiance. Astral Radiance. This is also what I like about this, this product in particular. Because you get so many, so many booster packs, it's almost like you're doing a little time travel, if you will. Like through all these, these older sets. And that is really, really nice. Let's see. Oh, Radiant Heatran. Here we go. Second pull, just back to back. And a Hizuian Decidueye V. Yo, okay. 
That was a double pull from, from Astro Radiance there. Nice, Astro Radiance coming in clutch. Of course, one of my favorite sets from from the Sword and Shield era. Let's see what else do we have here. We do have to save Evolving Skies for last, but I guess I guess we'll just get it over with with Fusion Strike. And to be honest, it's probably going to be Evolving Crisis I'm going to be if I'm going to be honest. I don't think we're going to get anything from Evolving Skies. But let's see. Let's just get Fusion Strike behind us because I have opened so much Fusion Strike and I have never pulled anything good. And this is no different. And that is no different this time around. Never pulled anything decent from Fusion Strike. All the cards that I that I have from Fusion Strike, like mainly the um, the Mew V and the Mew V Max. Let's see what else do we have here. Let's do do it like this, I suppose. Vivid Voltage. The cards that I do have from from Fusion Strike, I did buy. You know, like the Mew uh, V alternate art and Mew V Max alternate art. I just bought those. I mean. You know, there was this whole scandal with, like, hits being stolen of a of a production line. And I know they said, no, it didn't affect pull rates, but, you know, it's just, it's just one of these theories that I do believe it's, hmm, maybe. Maybe it did affect pull rates in the end, and they just didn't want to say, because that would be a, a huge fiasco for them. Let's see, Darkness Ablaze. I think I actually unboxed the, um, oh, there's a Skitty, nice. That's a, that's a really nice first card, like Skitty. I actually did pull the, um, the Charizard VMAX out of, out of Darkness Ablaze during my, um, every Sword and Shield pack opening. Oh, we have a Mew! We pulled a Mew V from Darkness Ablaze. That's the second best thing you can pull because it is, of course, a Mew card. It is, of course, a Mew card. Nice. Very, very nice. We've got a Mew. Sick. That is really sick. Let's put the Evolving Skies, like, up here. What else do we have here? Brilliant Stars? Sure, let's do some Brilliant Stars, I guess. And then we're saving, of course, the Evolving Skies for last. Because those are really, really special. Let's see if we can get a um, a full art or like a trainer or like a rainbow rare. So far, I think even though we've pulled some, we're not walking away empty-handed, which is really nice. I think the first box I opened around Christmas, like so far, has been a lot better. We'll see if this one can redeem itself. Nothing for for this brilliant stars pack, though, unfortunately. But here is the code court, nonetheless. We still got a bunch of booster packs left. You see, this is what I like. Just a bunch of booster packs and opening them up. This is really, really cool. Maybe we can get... I mean, there are trainer gallery cards in, in Brilliant Stars. So maybe, just maybe, there is a chance that we do get like a... A second-hand pull, if you will. Even if you don't get the, the main pull. There's still something. Nope, not for this one. That's a really cool Vibrava, though. And, oh, it's a VMAX, Agron VMAX, okay. At least that's something, you know, that is not Garbo, that is something. That is nice. Let's put you, like, right here, I suppose. And what else do we have left? Astro Radiance, Astro Radiance, sure, let's do one Astro Radiance, I guess. Also featuring the Trainer Gallery cards, so... We could also get, like, a second-hand pull, if you want to call it that. Let's see, Oshawott. Let's see, Quillfish. We have a Rowlet. We have... wait. We have a second Quillfish. Okay. Oh, I see something from the Trainer Gallery. Yo, we've got Bea! A full art trainer, nice. Okay, and we have a golden card. We have the origin form Palkia V Star. Yo, this is a double pull from this pack. Holy moly! Okay, okay, it redeemed itself. It redeemed itself. This is definitely better than the first box I, I opened. Yo, let's just look at this at this Bea again. I actually don't have this. I have the um, the Nessa that's also like throwing a, I think it's a dive ball or something. So this is really cool. And oh, this is especially cool. Check this one out. A golden origin form Palkia V-Star. Super, super amazing. Let's just put it right, right here. Okay, 
Welp. Uh, that is something. See, this is what I mean. This is why I like opening these these boxes. I don't get to turn, though. This is maybe like a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You know, it's always like that. that. That's that's the reason when always when you see on like on social media, like be it Reddit or Twitter, you see someone pull some amazing stuff from like an ETB or like some random product, and then you buy it yourself and you pull something like this, like a non-holographic Golurk. And they are like, oh man, why why didn't I get so lucky? But it is what it is. I mean, I'm having fun. Even if I wouldn't pull anything, it would still be fun because that's for me. For me, that's where the fun is. You know, just the fact of ripping cards, seeing all these different Pokemon, that is what the fun is all about for me. If I really wanted the cards, I'd probably just save up and not buy any products and just buy them straight up. That is probably way cheaper in the long run. But, you know, where is the fun in that Haunch Crow? And is Ken at the end there? Here is the code card for Lost Origin. I'm getting close to the end here. One Astro Radiance pack left, and then we have Evolving Christ to deal with. It will probably be Evolving Christ. It's been a while since I've last opened Evolving Skies, but with the times I did, it really was Evolving Christ. I do have to say, the first time around, I opened Evolving Skies when I first got back into the hobby. And I bought one booster box, and I pulled the Rayquaza V Alternate Art, which, funnily enough, was also my my chase card back then. So that was incredibly lucky. Just a thievel for this one, though. Choi by Sharp. And a code card, of course. Can't forget that. I'll probably end up doing the, um, the card trick for Evolving Skies, though, because this is kind of special. Which one do we open first? Sylveon? We'll save the Rayquaza for last. Let's open the Sylveon first. The Sylveon Evolving Sky Spec. I actually don't know how much these are. I know the booster boxes are like crazy expensive right now. But I don't know how, how expensive like the, the just loose booster packs are. I think they might be like eight. Okay. So that was a white code card. That's probably a bad sign. Get a Hippopotus and a Gorgeist. Well, of course, I did kind of spoil it there, but we still have two left. So I'll try my best to not spoil it this time around. So let's just do this right here. Okay. We pull the code card out. Evolving Skies code card. There you go. And then we do one, two, three to the front, actually. We lift this one up, which is our steel energy or metal energy and then we we see what we can get in this one i've got a swayless got a skip loom very happy skip loom maybe that's me after the opening i mean it probably already is it probably already is you have tentacool got another pikachu very nice we've got a c dot i've got a boost shake and we got the umbreon v holy moly are you kidding me are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! Are you serious? I'm losing my voice over here! Holy moly! What? I... What just happened? I... What? What? I can't believe this! Yo, hear me out. I just bought this card. Well, it hasn't shipped yet. I literally just bought this card because I thought there is no way I'm gonna pull this card. Oh my god, I need a sleeve. I need a sleeve. I need a top loader. I need everything right about now. Holy moly. Are you serious? Talk about a... This is... This is, without a doubt, the best pull I have ever gotten on this channel. 100%. Are you serious? You have to be kidding me. Okay. When people ask me, what was like the best pull or the best feeling for you? I always say, you know, I bought like 10 Silver Tempest packs from like a local card store. 
and I pulled the Lugia V alternate art. Um, this beats it. This absolutely beats it, 100%. Jesus. Okay, let's just carefully put this into a sleeve. And hang on, let me get a thing right here. Jesus, I, I lost my voice there for a second. That is absolutely crazy. Jeez, it's not evolving, Christ. Well, I'm crying because of happiness. Let's just try to look at this up close. The centering actually seems to be, like, really, really good. Like, just looking at it through the camera, I'll, I'll look at it after the video. But, yeah, this is like... Okay, I see it's a bit off-centered, but... I mean, it's still the Umbreon VMAX. This is the best card you can pull from Evolving Skies. Jesus, okay, I need to process this. As you can see, I'm like... I'm really, really... I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking. You know, I, it's always these cringe Reddit posts that always tell you, oh, I'm shaking, I just pulled this card. I'm literally shaking. Oh, this box definitely beats the one I, I unboxed first. Let's put the Bea over here and have the Umbreon, like, right inside. We still have one booster pack left. The, the opening is not over yet. That's the crazy part. That is the crazy part about this. Okay. What a opening. I don't even know what to say. I I guess after this video, I'll... The guy I bought this from, I'm gonna tell him, thank you so much for this box. You have no idea, buddy. You have no idea. Okay, Golduck. We've got rubber gloves. We've got copycat. We've got Petalil. Dino. We've got Teddy Ursa, very cute. We've got a Feebus. Hop it. We've got Switching Cup and nothing. See? That's Evolving Skies. Evolving Cries giveth, or Evolving Skies giveth, and Evolving Cries taketh away. What a opening. Do I even need to say anything? No, I'll just let the Pults speak for themselves. I just let the Pults speak for themselves. I could probably just, just put this one here, and it would be well enough but <laughs> yeah i have nothing else to say that was my my second charizard ultra premium collection opening i hope you did enjoy um if you did then a rating would be very much appreciated um let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, what i could do better if you didn't if you disliked something and other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope i will see you in the next one peace peace